Very good morning to all. My name is Yadevi Priya, working in CSE department, Sri Guru Institute of Technology. Today my topic is Introduction to Data Mining. Before enter into this topic, we need to know the what is data. A data is nothing but as a raw fact of the world. For example, if you are taking the crude oil, if you are taking the crude oil means the price of the crude oil is dollar eighty per barrel. So this is considered to be a data. From this, we doesn't know anything about this crude oil. But we can only know about the price of that crude oil is $1.80 per barrel. Next, one more thing we need to know, like what is information? The price of the crude oil is from this to that the range has risen from the 70 to 80 is considered to be an information. The same thing, the price of the crude oil has risen from $1.70 to $1.80 per barrel is considered to be an information. So, we are getting the information from the data. Next one thing I need to discuss with you is knowledge. This knowledge is nothing but when the crude oil price goes up goes up by dollar 10 per barrel is likely that the petrol price the petrol price is increases by 2p per liter. So, this knowledge is nothing but we are getting useful information and useful data from the previous part. That is, when this goes up and at the same time the petrol price liter is also increased, is considered to be a knowledge. So, the main thing we need to consider here is that we are first mainly we are concentrating the data, next we are getting the information from the data and next we are getting the knowledge from the data as well as the information. The whole process why I am concentrating here is that so the data is nothing but is the raw facts of the world. That is the main conclusion of this session. So we have seen the uh, data concept. What is data? What is information? What is knowledge? And next we will move on to the mining case. Let us consider this is a raw data. This is a raw data. Okay. And here is our information. And here is 
is our knowledge. A next main case like decision. So we will take the cycle as this is our raw data from here we can't able to extract anything and we are getting the information from the data from here also we never mine anything and combinations of these two things will give the knowledge and here we can have some we can mine some inform, uh, information as well as data is considered to be a data mining and extensions of this thing is considered to be a decision so here you can easily find out the objective of this data mining so finally the data mining is nothing but extracting the useful decision from the data is called as data mining only one thing i need to discuss here is that this data is always correct for example i cannot be a 29 years old as uh, at the same time 69 years old can you understand the point i cannot be a 29 years old as well as the 69 years old at the same time so data is always a correct one correct status it shows but while you are moving to this information means it is a dynamic one and also it is changing based upon this data for example one can say that i born in 1981 other may say like 1984 Likewise, the information is differ from person to person. So, like, uh, this is the main thing I need to quote out here. So, information is different from data and data is different from information. We can get the information from the data, but we cannot get the data from the information. Got it? So, extracting the decision from the data is finally called as the data mining. So, we have seen the what is data mining. So we will move on to the cycle, life cycle of data mining for here the data is a collaborated one, it is a raw fact. Now after the selections of the data, it is a distributed one. Here we are having the targeted data and we are getting the targeted data from the collections of data. After that we need to pre-process the data. Why need to pre-process means we will be having the noisy data in between them. So for that we need to reduce the noisy path, we, have, uh, we are moving to the pre-processing thing and after reductions of the noisy data, it is transformed into one form to another form like 2D to 3D or some other format and here the transformed data is mined by using the data mining. So we have to extract decision means using the patterns. The pattern is nothing but is the template. So the template is created by mathematical rules. So after that using this template as well as the pattern we are giving the we are getting the knowledge from the data mining. So extracting the knowledge from the data is finally a conclusion of this slide.